So this is an example of a structured data statement that we add. You can see we use this qualifier that says <coughs> termination method is that it was determined by a plan institution, and then we use an actual reference also that, uh, that adds our um, item uh, URLs and um, provides our catalog records as a reference for every single statement that we add, and that allows us to distinguish those from any structured data that are added by the community, so we're not messing with any of those. Um, this is what one looks like. You don't need to read that just to see. We Every single image we've uploaded has like 10 to 20, some have even 100 statements if they, if they have a lot of subjects. Um, so, but there's a, a baseline, I think it's 10, 10 or 12 um, statements that every single uh, uh, image we've uploaded has. Um, which means with the number of uploads we've done, that's uh, you know tens of millions of structured data statements that we've uploaded or that we've added and that we're maintaining as well. Uh, so this is what uh, the the box looks like. Typically, if you look at it, more of the edits. This is just a, a, a random screenshot of the contributions of the bot. More of the edits are actually changes to structured data than uploads. Um, and it makes a lot of uh, additions, but it also this also allows us to make changes to our data model and then push them out to all of our uploads in the same way that changes to the um, to the aggregation are pushed out. Um, and you can see the scripts, the Python, also PyWikiBot scripts that we are using for data synchronization. There, it's a little cut off, but it's in that same um, GitHub repo. Uh, and then just quickly, I'll say uh, the approach here. You know, this is what we what we end up with for an individual institution. It's one of our partners, the Boston Public Library. Um, I wanted to just end it by pointing out what the what the point of all of this is, which is you know we end up with these uploads. We have a link we can give to our partners, um, and then they're putting them into Wikipedia. Right? So that was this was like. A big technical overview, but still, this is the the main goal. Is an outcome like this, or you know, any type of usage in the Wikimedia world, but an outcome like this, um, and uh, really, the idea here is that DPLA is providing this sort of network effect, where um, having all these participants um, in uh, you know in the DPLA network means that we can actually amplify the value of all of them because we're solving uh, problems in one place for everybody. Um, so DPLA, you know, we are uh, an American um, organization, but we're not a big institution. Our members include the National Archives and the Smithsonian, um, but uh, we're six employees, one software developer, uh, we're, we're a, like a well-networked institution, I would say, and we're well-positioned. But uh, this isn't something that was done by some big tech team. Um, and so this is kind of the goal for me. This is me giving a talk to a room full of librarians from the middle of America. This, this is our, our hub of Missouri and Iowa librarians. Um, and this is the kind of work that, aside from all the technical work that I'm also doing every day, is doing the outreach and training to make all of these uploads uh, you know, be able to have their, their full impact. I think that's, yeah. So I'll, I'll end there if anybody has any questions. Yes? We have Dr. Jeffrey in New Zealand, particularly in the state of the National Library. It looks like you guys, uh, from the impression I got, is that you're only taking openly licensed material. Uh, whereas the people in the will have to go anything but give rights and copyright statements. Uh, we noticed a big problem with incorrect licenses applied, particularly Creative Commons licenses applied to public domain works. Yeah. Uh, it's a significant percentage of the material there, but digital intent says that's what it's a problem to solve, that is traced back to the host institution. How big a problem is it with you guys, and do you have any do you lean on institutions to get the fix there? So, so DPLA does aggregate all cultural heritage regardless of the rights. Um, 
but we are, which is part of why we need, we can only allow the institutions that are providing uh, standardized rate statements to, to participate in the immediate pipeline to, 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 to determine the eligibility. Um, so it is an issue. Uh, it, sometimes it's an issue in which you know Wikimedians, probably a lot of us know, Wikimedians can be uh, more copyright hawks than even the institutions. And a lot of times, what we find is like institutions are doing either doing rights labeling like at the collection level, uh, or they don't um, they don't have the same set of considerations like. You know, one of our main partners is the National Archives in the United States. All federal government works are in the public domain, um, which means uh, their their like copyright marking is mainly determined by was a federal employee taking the photo, and then we'll do an upload of a whole collection in the public domain, and then someone on Wikimedia Commons will be like, "But well, you took a picture of a 3D artwork." So like this individual photo from this collection that he said is in the public domain is actually not, or you know, there's all these all these like considerations that only comments cares about, um, and so I do like my my bot's top page is probably getting a deletion nomination at least like an average of once once a day or a few times a week, um, and I it's not it's not ideal. Um, those partners, those institutions, really aren't. Like, aren't equipped really to be responsive to that, and certainly not on the timelines. And so, I will sometimes weigh in when I can, but I also just kind of, you know, if we have, we've done four million uploads and we've had like a thousand or even a couple of hundred get deleted, it's a really a tiny error rate. And I just like kind of ask for the, the Wikimedia community to be okay with that, and, and I don't resent them for catching <laughs> errors from the institutions that I am believing in, and, and I let them have those debates, you know? But there's really no other way to, like, to scale it, I feel like. Yeah. I'm just curious about the same process of, like, if you can just drop your data definition, you can go back and you can't take that in the past or the like, right. Do you do any sort of conflict protection like if you did a data since you did your initial upload or so that you get overwritten and you get that piece? So that that is why like I was saying we include a reference with every statement, right? So okay. if uh, the the logic there is if this statement saying that XYZ is the title of this item is referenced to the DPLA catalog, then we're kind of justified in Removing that, if that the reference source no longer says what you know the the, the structured data statement says it says. Yeah. So if you wouldn't, if you as a Wikimedia community member want to add additional data or context that wasn't described by the institution, then you would do so, but you wouldn't use that reference, right? Yeah. So as long as our bot, the logic of our bot is to only maintain or only touch the statements that are referenced to DPLA. Then we're kind of in, we're in the right, if, even if we delete something that's there because it's either it was only added by us or somebody added it with a like a wrong reference and it deserves to be deleted too. Thank you. Yeah, and we actually TPLA um, was one of the main advocates that pushed for the reference functionality to be added in the, in the beginning. Early days of structured data of comments, there was no reference functionality for statements. Um, so that's the main like use that we've made of it because it actually like gives allows us to do synchronization and to also kind of protect the sanctity of the the, com the community's contributions at the same time. Yeah.
also kind of glossed over this, but the template I was showing you, the, uh, the way it's coded, it will display the statements that say they, they are, uh, the, the, the values were determined by a land institution. So like it's displaying the authoritative data in that box. And if users want to make their own contributions, they would have to basically like separately add um, their own metadata. Uh, but we we ensure that like you can't just uh, overwrite the title or overwrite what the original institution by the title or other metadata. Yeah. Um, I have a question about I I'm sorry, I was a little bit late, so if you covered it in the beginning, I apologize. But I was wondering, for the glares that do participate, are you guys providing metrics back to them or some kind of like impact analytics that help them understand like why this is important? Um, be it, like, for instance, Gage, I really want us to participate in this, but our rights statements and copyright statements are a mess. So I really need to sell this as like, we need to fix this stuff, but I need to show the impact of it, and so it would be great if there was some sort of analytics on top. Um, so just wondering if you, sorry if you covered it earlier. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, no, that's like, that's a kind of its, its own whole topic on its own, so I didn't try to address it. Okay. okay. Uh, I just, also I just threw this up. If you came in late, I there were a lot of links in the slides, so I just had this this slide where you can actually get get there if you wanted to, to see any things I was linking. Um, I will, I don't know. Do I? How are we on time? Yeah, we're uh, way over time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to to uh, yeah, I was gonna say. So like, uh, I won't go try to show, but we um, we're trying to solve the problem of analytics because you know there's a lot of unreliable tools. Uh, there's other folks that are also talking about that here at this conference. But what we've been doing is I've been experimenting with generating our on each category displaying the um, the page views, but um, it's not it's not really like at a, at like a, it's not really the production right, yeah. uh, stage yet. Sorry. But we might just end up solving the problem solving solving our own problem if the, the tools if you need to be underlined. Okay. But yes, that that is definitely like a need.